Hey guys, I got a new RC. I got the Axial SMT-10 Gravedigger. And uh, I wanted to show it off before I start modding it. I'm gonna change it over into a uh, sport mod monster truck. If you've ever seen the uh, the Trigger Kings RC channel, they have a lot of monster trucks on there and a lot of them are made from the SMT-10. And so that's what I'm gonna do with it. I've never actually paid attention to one of these until I bought it, I ordered it without really looking into it all that much. And uh, it's surprisingly nice for a uh, stock monster truck. It is really detailed. I I really like it, I really do. It looks like it's, it's super durable and uh, I can't wait to start modding it. Honestly, this thing is so nice that I kind of feel bad for stripping it down and turning it into a different monster truck. But I mean, that's what I bought it for. That's what I'm gonna do with it. I, I'm, I might buy another just to keep it as a grave digger. Some of the mods I'm going to do to it, I'm going to change the body out. I'm going to put a, uh, a J Concepts uh, 1993 F-150 body on there. And of course, I'm going to change the guy's helmet in there. I'm going to keep the body. I think that's that's pretty cool. I mean, not the body, but the little figure that's in there. I'm going to change out the, the green uh, cage. I'm going to put a black one on there. I've already got it ordered. I'm going to shorten the wheelbase so it's not quite so long. I'm going to uh, lower its stance a little bit. I'm going to change out the tires, put some Renegades on there with some Tribute rims. I'm going to swap out the ESC, the motor, and I may do a few more things to it. I'm definitely going to change out all the links up front. I might even change the servos. I'm not sure yet. For a, a bit of a comparison, the uh, that's my Traxxas Bigfoot. It's pretty much stock. And uh, this is my Claude Buster. It is not stock, it's heavily modified. And uh, you look, you can see the size difference in the tires. I mean, these aren't that big next to these Claude Buster tires. And the Renegades are about this size. And so it'll give it a much bigger tire. When it comes to this SMT-10, I don't actually know what I'm doing. I've never modified one of those before. I built I built this Clod Buster and it came out great. I did a really good job on it, but the uh, drivetrain is pretty much the stock drivetrain. The ESC, the the uh, the gearing, the, the axles, the motors, they're all stock. I'm changing all that on this uh, Grave Digger, so it's going to be different and I'm kind of learning as I go. Let's get this battery in it, give it a run. These things are notoriously slow so wow that drag brake when you left the throttle that drag brake, <laughs> that's got to go. That's horrible. That's top speed right there. That's comically slow. <laughs> and you hear, if you turn all the way, the tires rub. That's, that's not good at all. Honestly, I expect it a little better. Put the ramp down for it. Let's see what it does. <laughs> wow, that that's sad. That is really bad. I'm gonna try a different ramp. Maybe it's the ramp, not the RC. Oh, that was actually pretty cool. Not, not very high or very far, but pretty cool. Let's do a speed test of all three of these things. And keep in mind, they are all stock. And the Grave Digger and the 
um, claw buster are using the same battery. That grave digger, its speed is a little underwhelming, isn't it? Man, it's, uh, you would think it would be faster. I've got the motor at ESC to swap out for it. It definitely needs it. It, it, it needs it bad. The really confusing thing is this drag brake. I don't think you, you realize, just letting off the throttle causes it to do that. That is absolutely insane. I don't know. I mean, I understand it for some RCs, but for a monster truck, I just don't know why they would put that drag brake on here. Wide open across the yard. Ah. Uh. Poor thing. That clicking you hear when it turns is the wheel turning and brushing up right here. It's, it just doesn't have enough space. That's the stock Axial SMT-10 Grave Digger. What do I think about it? I like it, I really do. Even though I have a few complaints. It's slow. That, that drag brake is just crazy uh, that I don't know why they even put that on there the uh, you know you turn and it the tires don't have that clearance and I don't like that it doesn't have an on off switch you you plug up the battery to turn it on and you unplug it to turn it off I don't like that other than that I, I really like it it's, it's detailed it looks cool it's actually fun to drive around even though it's not all that fast it's actually pretty cool to drive around I think this would be great for uh, a young person someone that is just getting into the hobby really and isn't really old enough or mature enough to handle uh, the more powerful RCs and you could always upgrade it if you wanted to uh, if, if a kid really wants a grave digger I think this may be a great RC for them. It's, it's very durable. I know the SMT-10s are very durable machines. I've seen people bash with them and, and drive them and wreck them and treat them pretty badly and they take it. So I, I that's probably its target audience honestly. But you can take it, you can modify it, and you make it a much better truck which is what I'm going to do with it. Well, guys I appreciate you for watching. Thanks so much. I hope you enjoy this video and I will see you next time.